As you may have noticed, a force has just entered the room, and that's what happens when Dane Bates comes to town. And that's exactly why he's here. Dane, thank you so much for chatting to us. Like, thank you so much for having me. Love. First of all, you are this ball of energy, right? Yes, I am. Is that where the creative process with you comes? Because there's just so much happening in your brain. Like you enter a room yeah. and the whole room just, just sits and watches. Do you know what it is? Well, I don't talk to people, I talk at people. Okay. Yeah. And it's always been a thing since I was a kid. I've just always had to get my point across. The creative process is actually, I'm quite vulnerable when I get to that situation. I, I'm quite introvert when I create. Mm. When I deliver the creation, that's a whole different story. You are, you're, you're a choreographer and a teacher like second to none. You're, I think you're the, the, the teacher and the mentor that people are afraid to be because they're afraid to come across so direct. But you are one of the most direct people, but you get the goddamn results. Got to. Is, that, is, that a, is that a conscious decision to be that person? Do you know what it is? I do worry sometimes that am I being a bit too much? Am I delivering it too hard? But it's what I think as long as you come from a place of love mm -hmm. and you come from a good energy and oh, yes, I push them. Yes, I make them give it me and I want it and I want it on the plate, a golden plate with a cherry on top mm -hmm. because that's what they need to do. But as long as I'm doing it and not in a negative way, I don't bring people down. I just tell them what they've got to do to do it. And I love them and I want them to do well. So I always think if you come from a good place and a place of love, your delivery sometimes can be a bit harsh, but I think they get it. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're pushing them because you love them, not because you want, to, you want to upset them. I don't want to upset them. I don't want to do anything to upset anybody. But at the end of the day, I'll be doing you a disservice. Mm. If your leg's not pulled up and you're doing it wrong, I have to tell you that. Because how are you going to fix that? Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. If you count on five and you're out of shot, get in the space you need to be. Mm. We had the pleasure of seeing you on Britain's Got Talent and we've had the pleasure of seeing you on The Greatest Dancer. Greatest Dancer. Um, is, there, is, there, is there space in your future for more reality or mm -hmm. have you done that and you're kind of like... I have ready. got a really exciting project coming up. I have signed See the way I segued that yeah, knowing yeah, yeah. exactly where I was going. Yeah, you know, I, I have signed a bit of NDN. I'm not allowed to tell you, but naturally I've told everybody. <laughs> you know, I've got a private story, which I will add you to on my Instagram. Oh, I want that green. I, I want that green circle in the corner. All I'm going to say is, Watch your streaming services very, very, very soon. And stars and stripes are coming into my mind and a coach. And yeah, that's all he's going to say. Because I want to say something to you, actually. I just like to thank you because many a moon ago, I did some choreography for Ireland's Got Talent on the Fionn McMorrow. Fionn and McMorrow. you mentioned it's before I even knew, uh, you know, I, yeah. before I'd even been to Ireland. Mm -hmm. I did Fionn McMorrow's Island and you mentioned me on TV. I did. He said he's had some help with Dane off the greatest dancers. Well. Yeah. So thank you for doing thank that. Thank you. For, you're very welcome. And actually, because I was I was representing Ireland's Got Talent because I was, was a part of the brand the year before, and obviously I was kind of commenting and stuff. And when it comes to choreo, and Fionn is such a talented boy who's been here before, and yeah, he's here today, actually. Yeah, I love him. Um, he, and I knew when I saw the stuff, I went, I think that's Dane Bates. And yeah. I've, I've, I've been obsessed with you ever since. I knew you before that. Yeah. And I thought, what a lucky kid to get yeah. to work with Dane. But it's funny, I, um, the first time I ever came to Ireland, I was flown over to Sligo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and it's, it, it was beyond the school, Lisa Kidd's Dance Academy, and they flew me over and they did these big workshops and I fell in love with the place, I really did. Mm. So then I, I just, I was on The Greatest Dance, I'd just finished, I got the phone call, would you help from this kind of physical course? And all. So his mum actually flew him to Liverpool and I did his audition and I think I worked on his final one with him. I think he made the finals but never won, which is still a massive achievement. Listen, even. I didn't even make the finals and look, she still booked and blessed. I've never made the finals. <laughs> See what happens? I've never won a reality TV show in my life. Has that stopped me? No. No. Keep going. Take that exposure, plant the seed, water, the tree will blossom. Isn't that it though? Because yeah. you have to just take every opportunity, be it a gig to five people, to 5,000 people, or in front of the nation on a TV show. You have to take every opportunity. Yeah, those five, you give that gig to five people, you make them feel, you make them feel something, you give them the best experience. Those five people are gonna tell five people, mm. that next time you've got 10, next time you've got 10, that's how I've done it, you know? I had to work from, I had to work, I've only started, I've had no, I was a single parent family growing up, I'll be honest with you, mm. we had nothing. We had, I had hard work and a dream, okay? And if I wanted to do anything and I wanna be where I want to be, had to work my backside off, okay? Mm. And the hustle doesn't stop, I'm still hustling now. Mm. And I will continue to hustle until I've reached, I don't even know where I'm going, I'm just gonna keep going. And it's something I keep saying in these videos as well, is that some, somebody told me quite recently, uh, I once you climb one mountain, you, you realize there's another mountain to climb. Exactly. There's a bigger one to climb. Exactly. Is there a point, is there something in the next, okay, I've kind of said this to a few of the guests, is there a point in the next two years that you kind of go, I want this to be done, yeah. be it the reality show we've kind of touched upon, 
or is there is there a show is there an, is there an objective is there a, a gig that you kind of go there um world domination there you go girls i think that's what it is i'm not going to give it up until everybody knows who i am and everybody knows who my company is mm. and everybody wants them in their music videos in their shows you know we're, we're on the way but we're nowhere near that and i will not stop you, you can tell you know oh absolutely could yeah. we see could we see the collective kind of go on a tour to give us because you know, Irish Irish dancing shows are, are all you're going. All happening, my God, he can tell. You. He can say nothing. I'm asking all the wrong questions because he can't give me the answer. But it is something we can look out for. We can look out for it, yeah. and also, um, I just uh, I did a little tour in Ireland, just a massive yes. class tour, and um, I actually had two of the girls from one of the schools in Ireland fly to London very recently mm. to film something, um, which I can't tell you about, but you will see very, very soon. Two very, very talented Irish dancers that I found when I was on tour with Perform Island, we did our studio tour, and they will be featured very, very soon, but I can't tell you. So you just got to watch the TV. You just got to watch the TV. Watch the TV, guys. All my Instagram, follow me at them in the next time too. But it does go to show that these opportunities and people coming here yeah. to Ireland to perform and people you coming here, you can make yourself by just being seen in a room and just making sure that you're the best. Do you know what it is? Best, I think it's not even, and I love that you said that, it's not even being the best. In, do you know what it is? I love a work ethic. Yeah. I don't care if your legs aren't quite up there. The grass. I don't care if you're not turning as fast as the person next to you. You're stood there giving me your heart and soul, blood, sweat and tears. Mm. I can work with that. Yeah. I can pull you over. I can push that because I know you want it. It's about showing up and being present and doing the best that you can do. Yeah. And that's the biggest advice. There's some words of wisdom for you there. Okay? Wisdom. Words of wisdom. Work hard. Yeah. And if you give, if you show the choreographers that you are willing to be, to learn and to be trained, I don't work with you. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, uh, do you know what it is? It's 20% talent, 80% hard work. And I just would like that message to go across. I love that. I love that. And I'm going to finish that there. Dan, you're Thank a you gentleman. So Thank you so much for being here with us. You're amazing.